Welcome everyone. <laughs> Peace, brother. <laughs> uh, good to see you. Seems like a while because we had the, the retreat in between and if you were there, well, it's pretty mind blowing. And that always sets the tone for um, this next chapter of the, of the shows. And today I'm actually joined by a very special guest. I'm joined by Lilo. <laughs> So thank you so much for coming to join me today. Mm. It's a real pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's like with the themes of the lessons that have been coming up around grievances, I thought, wow, this is like the perfect theme. And in actual fact, um, yesterday, I, I didn't even know what the show was really gonna be about. And um, me and Lilo had a call and there was an expression and it was like there was a grievance there. <laughs> and then it was like really beautiful and we're, and we're sharing more about that. And then afterwards in, in her message, she said, oh, I could be on your show, but she was actually joking. And I never had any ideas for my show. And I was like, hmm, that's not a bad idea. So I messaged her and said, let's have a call. And she's like, hmm, I was actually only joking. <laughs> so it was like, okay, then let's have this call. And it kind of became clear um, that that was, this was what we were going to share about. And in actual fact, that was actually a very beautiful gift for me because um, throughout the week, often I kind of know really what I'm going to talk about and have the um, ideas uh, are coming. But for some unknown reason, this week I was, I was pretty blank and I wasn't too sure exactly what to really share about. And as it was coming nearer the time, um, I actually spoke with um, Andy Oh, have you got anything for your show this week? No, no, nothing's come through. Yeah, we're just going to have to trust. Okay, yeah, we're just going to have to trust. And of course, as the days go on, it's sort of like, okay, are you going to give me something here um, to work with? And it was really funny, actually, because just before Lilo messaged me, it was Saturday morning, and we just finished our meeting and everything. And I felt, okay, I'm just going to sit in my chair, and I'm just going to be peaceful. And I'm like, okay, I'm still blank. Um, is there anything, is there anything you want me to do or to talk about? There has been lots going on, but nothing was really concrete. And then that's when I get this message from, from Lilo. Hey, I could be on your show. Actually, I was only joking. And now it just feels like this perfect gift that we're, that we're together to share this. And um, yeah, the theme is like having grievances with each other, really. And I think that's like, the most precious gift that we can really give to each other actually is these triggers um, that in Calico's show actually like we, we can set up our lives and we can try and hide away from okay I don't want to see this person because they trigger me I don't want to do these types of things because they trigger me I don't like these types of jobs because they trigger me and so we can we can we, we can lose a lot of, 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 of the healing through that of not being open and I think being here, I've been stretched, God, in every area really with working with computers, video editing, audio editing, now being in the studio, creating radio shows. I mean, every single one, distribution, every single one brings its own element um, of um, an area that I would never have ever seen myself in. And of course then, um, there can be grievances. And what I'm noticing with most of my grievances is really that I feel like a victim or I feel unworthy. And if I'm feeling like either one of those positions, then it feels warranted that I have this grievance that I can now attack you because you're starting to trigger my unworthiness or my victim story. And this has been like a kind of theme that's been, been, been occurring, it's like, wow, and even when we're in uh, meetings or whatever, it's like what you actually hear and what was actually said can be like two different things. We, we all know that scenario. And I actually had this really beautiful um, realization. Um, I felt like I'm really getting on top of something with dealing with this anger. Um, it's like now I've put this prayer out, it's like, I don't know, something's really like shifting, like I'm really, really noticing my mind much, much more in which I would get caught up in. 
and there's a particular particular scenario it's, it's like really interesting because these same scenarios keep being played out and it's like yesterday I thought wow this is really great news because actual fact the ego I feel like I'm getting on top of these games that, that I'm being tricked into and um, they're not so um, he doesn't seem to be as clever as he was and it's like okay this is really really interesting I'm I'm spotting them much earlier and there's normally this scenario that normally happens to me whereby um, the seeming authority <laughs> and of course if I'm believing in authority I'm believing that I'm unworthy something a greater power than me so I automatically put myself into this position and now uh oh there's a problem because I feel unworthy and then in this situation I'm gonna hear whatever I want to hear to make this situation real and um, the, normally the situation is is that um, yeah, we need to talk about this a bit more. Okay, so I'm in trouble. So this is what I'm hearing, I'm in trouble. And now um, my attack is gonna be justified. And what I'm hearing is, is I'm being threatened. I'm being threatened by this authority. So because of my unworthiness, this gives me the right to now threaten you. If you wanna bring a threat to me, then quite simply, I'm gonna start threatening you. Now this is, the old game that just keeps playing out and it's like all of a sudden the thought comes into my mind were you being threatened then yeah you were being threatened then. so now all of a sudden that's when he normally gets me and now the energy is rising yeah then let's really look at this story let's look at all of the things that were said that were against you that were wrong and you were treated unfairly and now the next minute the story's coming up but this time it was so beautiful because I, I just looked at it and thought this is the exact same thing that plays out the whole time in my mind. It just consistently plays out. You've been threatened, you can threaten them back and, and now, I'm, and now I, I either choose to get into it or I choose, hold on a minute, no. This is an old story, this isn't part of what's happening now. This has followed me from time and time again. So what do I do? Rather than keeping on to this grievance, I go and join with my brother and I share all my judgments so I can let them go, so I can be free. So that's been, that was the gift, that's actually the gift of, of being so close, um, being, um, wanting that together and knowing that my brother wants that as much as me and knowing that I want to support my brother through whatever grievances they have and knowing that my brother wants to support me through these grievances. And so my brother came and I, I sent this message out and I'm thinking, do I really want to let go of this? I'm not too sure what I want to hold on to, what I want to be right about. But I send my message out anyway with all of this. And then as soon as I sent the message to join, it's like it started to loosen. It started to like loosen up. Okay, it's not as real as I imagined. And my brother comes and joins me. Yeah, you, 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 want to, you want to express. And by this point, I'm like, actually, I'm not feeling the same as I did. And we just sat and shared. But I was just like, I was so grateful that I could share because I knew that just a tiny little grain of sand in my mind is just enough to tip to rock the boat. So it was so important just to really, really clear. And it was such a beautiful joining. And I just felt like, yeah, I really, really want to let that go because these judgments can just like come in from any, any angle. Um, so yeah, that's really the gift is like to hand these things over as, as quick as we can. Don't, don't, don't sit on them. I actually sat on this for, for a night. It felt good actually to, to kind of reflect because I felt like oh, I was right as normal. <laughs> and then I okay, go, let's, let's, let's try and reflect on this a little bit more. Let's give a little bit more time but in actual fact, and given the time to it, the ego was trying to come in, but I got to see the story. And it was like, what I found was really, really helpful was like, oh, I'm not fearful of this pattern anymore. That was the thing, I was always fearful. Oh, this is gonna go terrible, I'm gonna get angry. The other person might get angry, this is not gonna be good. We're gonna fall out, oh, I don't need this in my life. But this time I thought, no, it's just this scenario that's playing out for my healing. And I just feel like, great, I can't wait for the next time that this threat comes along, that I can say, yes, I can see you, and I'm, I'm not um, invested in you any longer. I know that this is this old game, and I really want done with it. 
So I feel so grateful that I've put out this prayer to be dealing with this seeming anger issue and looking at all the facets of it. So this leads me on to bringing in Lilo. <laughs> this is how it, it all began, is that um, there, was, there, there was a grievance with me and maybe um, Lilo can share a bit more of this and, and I can share a bit more, <laughs> bit more of um, my, my, my part in, the, in, in this healing, which I didn't even know about. So I just feel so grateful that you're, that you're here, Lilo, and I always um, admire your willingness to step in. So I just feel so grateful that you're here, mm. that we get to join with this and your open heart heartedness. So thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. So your grievance was actually yeah. with me. <laughs> <laughs> I was giving you a generous trigger, wasn't I? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, it was really, really beautiful. Um, yeah, we, we ended up like um, both putting up uh, Svava's new album um, on the internet and I was working on Bandcamp and you on Shopify yeah. or something and, yeah. and Svava told me that I could reach out to you, so I, so I did. <laughs> And um, yeah, I texted Ken and, and I asked him for, oh, can you send me all the details and, um, and the cover picture for, for her album. I'm, I'm working on it now. And, and I, I didn't get anything back, I think. Yeah, that was it. I didn't get anything back. It took like another hour or so um, that I started wondering, hey, he hasn't, he hasn't gotten back to me. Like, what's what's up with that? Um, and because also, this isn't the first time that this has happened, does yeah. it? Me not getting back to you. <laughs> that it's been so funny that with our Slack channel, it's like I haven't seen your messages. They haven't even appeared, and it's only been by luck that I've actually gone onto your profile and seen that you'd messaged me and could message you. Yeah. So it's kind of like this thing of like, okay, he's not available for me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and um, something just happened that I didn't feel like like I could give him a call or something or reach out to him. Like I just thought, like, oh, he he hasn't gotten back to me. And this seems like such a small thing in a way. Like, oh, it's just a text. Like, just wait a couple hours or several hours, or he'll get back to me. And but. Yeah, there, when you're when you know both that you're on this right now on this project, there's something just so deep around like, hey, where are you? Well, like, why why, if you're on something else, like if you ha don't have time right now, you get let me know or anything like that. Like that's what I, that's what I wanted. Like I just wanted some clarity around what was what was going on because I couldn't move forward, and. And so, well, I decided not to reach out to Ken, and and uh, so the evening went on, and and I was I kept on having these thoughts in my mind, like, hey, he's he's not getting back to me. He never gets back to me. That happened before as well. Like he, it takes like all these thoughts. Like it always takes him so much time for me for to get back to me, and um, and so I was like blaming onto him. Like he doesn't. He must not like me or something. He, he must not. He must not think it's important to get back to me. Like I don't. I don't trust him. Like, or, yeah, I must not. I must not be good enough. And that's actually the compromise that happened there. Like, oh, you know, it's it's just me. It's just Lilo. So. I mean, of course, he's not really going to get back to me. Like, there must be more important things or something. So I let that really completely take me over. Like, it convinced me so much that I decided not to get back to him. 
and to ask him, hey, what's going on? Like, you haven't gotten back to me. Like, hours later, even, like, still I wasn't willing to, to reach out to him and to ask him, hey, because there's just this belief, all these beliefs, all this unworthiness that really convinces me. And I feel like that's what we practice here. Like, no, you're, you're not unworthy. You're so worthy. So the moment you have a question in your mind, and that's why it's, it seems like such a small thing, but it's not. We really, I, I really start getting in touch with, like, oh, I have this question. I want clarity right now. And, and to give that to myself. And I wasn't willing. And, um, and so I went to bed and, yeah, and then I think I woke up like an hour later or something, um, and in such terror, like it seemed like bombs were going off. I, I don't know if someone was slamming the doors or I don't know <laughs> what actually, what actually happened, but I like woke up in terror and, and I, I kind of, I got kind of stuck in something there, like just feeling like, oh my gosh, someone could, I, I felt like I was going to be robbed or someone was going to come in my room and rape me. Not anyone here in the house, but just like I had just such a, like all these images were just taking over all this terror, all these beliefs. And I had no clue what was happening. All of a sudden I thought I was in Iraq. I was like bombs were all around me and people were going to shoot me or something like I had such, such a fear. I had no clue where that was coming from. And so I, I just got into this meditation and just really asking spirit, like, you, you got to help me here because I am believing things that are seemingly like not even like it's not even possible. I was just in the room, in my room, in my bed. Like it's super quiet here. That nothing's happening, and there is no reason to to feel such a fear. Like I'm not in Iraq, or something like that. You know, and and um, yeah. And so I I was just talking to to spirit, and and then I heard, okay, take out Al uh, Svava's album. And so I, I put on Svava's album and I, I listened to the whole album and I, I wouldn't fall asleep, but it, it just, it really helped me to relax. And it's like Jesus was just speaking to me, being very gentle. Come back to me, come back to me. Like, I'm here, I'm here, you can let go. You can let go. And, and eventually I, I felt like, okay, I'm, I'm not falling asleep, but I'm, I'm just really feeling like I want to get into function. I want to be like helpful, <laughs> like I want to just go into something. And, and um, yeah, just, I had just this, this activation all of a sudden. I wasn't scared anymore. I just felt activated, really joyful all of a sudden. And, and, and so I went downstairs and, and I started, started doing some, some other things and, and that felt really good. And then like half an hour later, I went to bed and I fell asleep, and and then in the morning um, we had a meditation and an expression session, and and someone here asked me, hey, Lila, is, are there any grievances you wanna you wanna lift up or look at? And I really I felt more peaceful, and I thought, but there was still that coming up in my mind, and so so I was like, yeah, actually I do wanna raise something up. This thing with Ken yesterday, and so expressing all that it. And then also telling about my experience uh, before I went to sleep, like all this terror. And, and so, yeah, Peter told, said, um, well, that really, that's really interesting or something like that. He said, like, look at the lesson of today. It was uh, love holds no grievances. Mm. Yeah. And it was just so, it's like I didn't even, before I expressed it, I, we had listened to the lesson, and I hadn't even, it didn't like fully click or something. But when I expressed it, it was like fully, 
saying like, here, spirit, I want to look at this fully. And then like it like just kind of came together, like the thing with Ken and then what I experienced by waking up in terror. And, and then it's just in the lesson, it says um, that you don't even have a clue how what, what those grievances in your mind, like the smallest grievance or just the one <clears throat> grievance that can have such a big effect on, yeah, it's just, you're not in love. You're not, I'm not, like, I'm not in love. And, and these grievances just take over, like all, all these, all these beliefs, they draw forth all these images in my mind, these stories of <laughs> being in Iraq, of, of someone harming me, whatever it looks like that that's possible, just a, a grievance, it's like thinking that like I couldn't reach out to Ken. I couldn't ask for clarity. I wasn't worthy enough for that. I couldn't ask him, hey, what's going on? Like, it, yeah, it was really amazing to see. Like, I, I want to really tune in. And that first prompt that, that I have, I, I say yes to mm -hmm. like I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to your spirit and and ask for more clarity mm -hmm. where it's needed and yeah yeah because it was interesting wasn't it because I actually sent the message but the message didn't go through due to the Wi-Fi right. so I actually did think that I'd responded <laughs> That's the thing. It's like it's such a perfect orchestration. Like you yeah. can't even, yeah. I can't even judge the form or yeah. like b yeah. saying like why does this happen with him exactly. or with me or whatever it is. It was perfect for this. This was Spirit the generous wanted to, trigger. Yeah, and wanted to bring this up. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, it's like so funny in just uh, in in not responding. All of that healing is actually there. Had I responded. Yeah. Okay, that would have been great and you could have got on with the album, but not all this other stuff would have come up to be able to have mm. this release and see yeah. that you are worthy yeah. and that you did want that connection. Yeah, it's like my heart is just calling for, for something deeper and a closer connection and really, yeah, getting more in touch with it all and so I can just raise it up and, yeah. And that's, that's the form, apparently, mm -hmm. that spirit has chosen or orchestrated mm -hmm. for us. And so I immediately, when I, <laughs> after that meeting, I think I reached out to you or mm -hmm. something. Oh, that's where it, where it happened. Like, I reached out to you and I said, like, hey, can, uh, can we talk about this? And I'm... I was just, I'm just so grateful, mm. you know, for that I get to do this with you and that mm. I get to go through this with you and mm. like, hey, that, wouldn't that be funny to yeah. share on your show? Yeah. And, oh, another prompt and I'm like yeah. joking about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like so beautiful. Like, oh, I didn't even feel any of this and you, okay, I really need to explain. <laughs> okay, what's going on? Yeah. yeah. We just play our parts perfectly in this and yeah it was just i'm so grateful that you had the courage just to be able to say that so you can really let it go mm. because i just feel all this love for you yeah. and just love connecting with you and yeah want to support you so it's like <laughs> i don't feel your support in me <laughs> like, oh God, wow where's all this come from mm. but yeah that's the that's the joy of letting all this up so you don't have to hold on to it and in a way i was thinking about um that's why we always come, we, we, we've got to keep coming closer together. Like you said, like I probably heard the prompt to say, hey, did you, get, did you get my message? And it's just like that other step towards the deeper connection with yourself, really. Um, and, and, and what we do here, it's like you can feel it when there's just a slight, oh, I didn't want to say that, or that communication. And yeah. I remember you saying, no, I really want to communicate. I really want to connect more. Mm -hmm. And it's just showing us these little places where we didn't want to connect. And, 
that's okay. That's, that's, I actually find those more important. I want to know where I don't want to connect rather than where I am connecting. Yeah. I want to see all those. So this is just another, another part that's being, yeah. being washed away that we get to do together and see that nothing's really gone wrong. Yeah. <laughs> to really join, choosing to join in mind and whatever that takes, yeah. whatever communication that yeah. takes. Or yeah. It's just a question in mind that's like choosing for the separation, to yeah. like be separate. And, yeah. And I, and I was just thinking, like us being in the studio, like when we're live like this, like we ha we have to join in. Like a couple of times today, you like looked at me, and and, and we're completely there because we can't just oh, okay. I don't, I'm not going to send that message now. It's like we have to be completely like that. And I thought, wow, that's just a beautiful symbol to say, okay, what if we do that all the time, no matter whether we're together, whether we can look at each other or not. But like, no, we're so together in our mind and yes I am worthy to reach out mm. and have that deeper connection the whole time but what I notice is it's just easy just I've only got to just drift off a little bit and I'm into another dimension yeah and then it draws <laughs> forth all these images and yeah. this terror or whatever yeah. like just the belief separation and whatever that looks like in the yeah. world yeah. Is, it was so clear it was just all in my mind yeah because I'm in here in my room <laughs> yeah, you just give that little that little opening to this, and the ego seems to come flooding in like it was trying to with me. Right? There's this, yeah. there's this grievance, yeah. and now it's making a much bigger problem that seems really, really, really real, and that's why we have to catch that so soon. So, in actual fact, that's why I felt so grateful because this could could have gone on for some time, but yet, in a day, here we are, we get the chance to share <laughs> that love holds no grievances. So what a gift. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, oh. we're almost near it. Wow, where did that time go? Two minutes. Actually, I just have I just have something to read that we could. Do you, do you want to read the second part and I'll read the first part? Yeah. Okay. So if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes and just go within, and we're joining this prayer. I give my life to God to guide today. Father. I give you all my thoughts today. I would have none of mine. In place of them, give me your own. I give you all my acts as well, that I may do your will instead of seeking goals which cannot be obtained and wasting time in vain imaginings. Today I come to you. I will step back and merely follow you. Be you the guide and I the follower who questions not the wisdom of the infinite, nor love whose tenderness I cannot comprehend, but which is yet your perfect gift to me. Today, we have one guide to lead us on. And as we walk together, we will give this day to him with no reserve at all. This is his day. And so it is a day of countless gifts and mercies unto us. Wow. Mm. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming to join us today. Oh. <laughs> Peace, brother. <laughs> oh, lots of love. <laughs> oh, <that's so> <laughs>